let's say you want your film look without that much work. I'm using an ACES color managed project. If you're at all like me, you'll appreciate the benefits of project wide ACES color management. Even as a solo operator, and not as part of a big production that actually needs it. It can significantly simplify working with log and raw footage and has much more capabilities than using LUTs for color conversion. Best of all, ACES is an open standard and it's already built into DaVinci Resolve. So, how does this factor into working with film emulation and Dehancer? In a competing film emulation plugin such as Film Convert Nitrate, you're limited to the camera packs as well as a standard sRGB or Rec. 709 type input. In Dehancer, you have the option to use ACES AP1 or even DaVinci Wide Gamut as its input color space which gives you more options than just the plugins camera packs. First, let's actually look at how to get a film look going in an ACES color managed project and further discuss the benefits. All right, if you don't already have ACES set up, you'll need to go here to color management, change the color science to ACES CCT, ACES version here might be good. Input transform. You could set it here if you're using just one camera's worth of footage, or the majority of your footage is from one camera. Output transform, more than likely Rec. 709. You want to go to HDR, set it to say Rec. 2020 HLG or ST. 2084. So we're in a test project now. So what it looks like if you don't set the uh, input transform. Select your clips. Right click. Aces input transform. For this Panasonic V-Log footage, we'll go here to Panasonic V35. First, let's start with a fresh node. Noticing that the colors look way too contrasty. We have to change the source to ACES CCT. Let's start with the film of choice. Two hundred T, five hundred T, and a plethora of other options here. For now, I want to stick with something familiar. Our print options. Let's try 2383 print film. Think of this as almost like a final look modifier. But we still have all these other options. You could think about these later. Next, you want to think about grain. 35 millimeter ISO 500. Dial up or dial it down. just go with whatever it has. We've got the 16 millimeter. It'll actually soften it up. Eight millimeter will soften up even further. So we have eight, 16, 
35, 65. Now I'm hoping there's some in-between option here, but there isn't for a 35 millimeter fist division. But nope. This might itself be good enough for most. But I'm going to add in halation. Bloom. And film breath. In order to further convincingly sell the effect. Those options will slow down playback well below real time so think about those last or better yet try to do all your edits before you add in the node because even the fairly basic effects will slow this down to the point where you can't edit in real time And I'm using a computer with an RTX 3080 Ti. Which is something most YouTube filmmakers will not have starting out. With Aces and DaVinci Resolve, you can use a wide variety of cameras' log profiles, including those from Apple, Ari, Blackmagic, Canon, Panasonic, Red, Sony, and you can even go beyond that by chaining in a color space transform node or installing DCTL files. Raw formats dropped into a project are debayered directly into ACES and do not require you to select the color space otherwise. These options give you tons of flexibility as to what footage you can use with Dehancer and get the most out of the plugin. You can output to HDR formats as well. I admit, I was hoping to finish a much more comprehensive review for Dehancer Pro, but my one month license expired before I could render out all the footage. So far though, my initial impressions in first month with the plugin are good otherwise. Apart from just how resource hungry it is, I was hoping it would also have more film and grain profile options considering the plethora of films available, but a lot of the associated film looks are customizable. If you want to see for yourself just how well Dehancer works on your system and in your workflow, you can get a free trial via their website. There are video plugins available for Premiere Pro plus After Effects as well as Final Cut Pro in addition to DaVinci Resolve. If you primarily work with still photographs, they even have a version for Lightroom, Photoshop, Affinity Photo, and Capture One. All aforementioned plugins are compatible with Windows 10, Windows 11, as well as Mac OS Mojave or later. In addition to that, Dancer also have an iPad app. If you decide after your free trial that Dehancer is for you, you can use my promo code to get 10% off on any of the plugins. And give me 10% of the sales.